We invited Avalon in because they're really at the cutting edge of green technology in access. So we like to give our students uh, as wide an experience as possible whilst they're on our courses. Um, the, the great thing is that the managing director, Phil Boyce, from Avalon is an ex-student of ours, an ex-construction student who completed his ONC and HNC with us. Um, so there's a, a, a real affinity really with the college there already. Um, hopefully we're going to take this forward now and continue to grow our links together to give uh, access for our students onto abseiling courses, so an additional skill that they can take along with their technical or craft skill. You can become a professional abseiler uh, using the errata mode uh, and you become a professional building surveyor starting off in technical colleges but no one has ever put the two together as a syllabus. Basically when we, when we actually run the first courses there's three levels to the courses, there's level one, level two, level three uh, with a thousand hours between all three uh, under full instruction but we need we need to run a course, it's five days with an exam, the exam is about seven hours at the end of it. That will give you your basics then you come back to school with another thousand hours under your uh, uh, belt so that you actually have a, a qualified uh, environment inside uh, the remit of being inside a building surveying company or inside a rope access company. Now putting the two together will create a new way of actually building surveying for the future. One of the benefits of commercial ab sailing as a construction trainee is that when you go along to get an interview for a job, you have something that many other construction trainees don't have. That's why I'm delighted that the college is offering learners here the opportunity for extra skills as well as their construction abilities. It's very interesting um, and I would probably take it up in the near future if there's a call out for plasterers in that sort of a trade. My name is Derek Asari, I do construction in a built environment in the Q level two. I'm on my second year. And yeah, I find that something like quite intriguing, like the hats that you can work out, the different conditions that you can work out. If I qualified as a plasterer, I think it'll be a new outlook and I think I'd go ahead and try and join that, that sort of trade because I think there's big money and it's quite an interesting job and something different I guess.